Hey guys, this is Ashley Perales from Pop of Color. These past couple of weeks, I've received a bunch of emails and messages from parents saying that they miss my art classes and my art lessons. So I've decided to kind of help you keep your kids busy and still doing art every day by doing a how-to video on how to do one of my favorite paintings, Starry Night by my favorite artist, Van Gogh. I'm gonna show you in a couple of easy steps how to recreate this painting by using supplies that you probably already have laying around at home. So let's get started. So here is our supplies that are needed for this project. So as you see, you can use a kid's watercolor set. It's the ones that they have at school. They have these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, pretty much anywhere. We have one paintbrush. You can kind of use one, it's universal. You can use it for all the colors. And then you really only need three different colors. You need a white crayon, a yellow crayon, and an orange. You need a glass of water so we can change colors and rinse our brush. And then for paper, you can either use watercolor paper or like a heavy cardstock works just as well. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to get our orange crayon. We're going to use this to draw our moon in the top right corner. So just draw a nice moon shape. Okay, and the painting is called Starry Night. So we're going to use our yellow crayon and we're going to draw a couple little circles where our stars are going to be. This is just kind of our guideline to kind of know where our things are going to be, where our sky color is going to be, and our crayons are just for reference. Now this part you're going to use the white. So the white's going to be kind of hard to see, but it will resist the water and the color when you put it on top. So as you know, they have that little plant on the left side, so just kind of draw a squiggly little plant. Now if you want to do a lot of detail, you can add the little houses in the bottom. I'm going to kind of keep it simple in case we have some younger artists out there. So we're just going to do kind of the hills that separate the land from the sky. So just draw your hills with white. Now you can use your yellow crayon again and go back and kind of map out your swirls. So Starry Night's pretty well known for having the pretty swirly sky. So just draw your two swirls. Parents, if you have little ones and this might be kind of difficult for them, you can draw it out for them and just have them paint over what you already have done. Okay, now we're gonna get our white. So now we're gonna start with our watercolor. First, you're gonna dip your brush in your water first. So we want a lot of water loaded on our brush and let's dip it into our orange first. So we're gonna go ahead and color in our moon. So just fill in your moon. Okay, and then rinse your brush. And now we're gonna dip our paintbrush into yellow. So now we're just gonna go around our stars and make the little yellow lines. And they don't have to be perfect. Remember this is kind of an almost abstracted painting. It's not a perfect sky. Do some yellow through the little squiggles in the sky. And there's also some yellow right above the hills. You can look at a reference photo of the painting as you do this if you want to. Okay, now the next step is important to kind of let it dry a little bit because as you know, you mix blue and yellow, it makes green and we don't want a green sky. So kind of let it dry a little bit or work on other areas, maybe like your little bush over here. So we can use some green first. So just kind of remember where you drew out your little bush. So add some green. Now in the reference photo, it has a lot of browns and black, so you can use those colors as well. So just kind of darken up the little tree. So as your painting is drying, for those of you that kind of want a little bit more advanced, a little bit more detail, I am going to use a smaller brush to kind of go back in there and do a couple of like the little hash marks around that kind of characterizes the painting a little bit more. It adds some more detail and just follow the direction of the stars and the sky. Go around your stars, do each one as a circle, go around your moon. Go around all the stars. You can kind of overlap some into the yellow. Go around both. 
Okay, so I'm using two different blues here. This one is a darker blue. You can also go back with yellow with your little brush and kind of fill in those areas that maybe you didn't get to do such good details for. So this is kind of for adults or kids that want more of a challenge. You can kind of go back and do some more detail all through your painting. We can add some more darker shadows in our plant to kind of make it look more 3D. And when you're finished, when you're happy with it, sometimes it's hard to step away from it. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple in the hills. A little on this side. And there's our finished painting. So when it dries, here's another view. sure you can tell it was kind of shaky but I hope to keep doing them since we're kind of stuck in this quarantine I want y'all to keep doing art keep having fun show me all your paintings send them to me send pictures I'd love to see all of them and thank y'all for watching sorry it's kind of bad I'll do another soon <laughs> bye